Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate several ways that you can sort fields and pivot tables so that they suit your needs. You actually have more flexibility when it comes to sorting fields and pivot tables than you do in a normal data set. For example, what if you're using a fiscal year and you want to have your months arranged so that they start with a different month? For example, in October. Now, in the previous lesson, I helped the viewer to create a pivot table based upon a water year, also known as a hydrologic year. In this case, in the Northern Hemisphere, the first month is October. So we created hydrologic quarters in the previous lesson. Now the viewer wants to see the months arranged so that they begin October, November, December. Well, there are, of course, several ways to do it. One easy way to do it is to select one of the values that you want to move. Right mouse click, and on the shortcut menu, come down here to move. Now, in this case, we're going to choose to move October up to the beginning. So October gets moved up to the beginning, not just for water year 1932, but for all the years. Now, if you're adept with the mouse, here's another way that you can move one of the field values. You see when I move the mouse down here to the bottom of November, you see when it turns into that four-headed black cross, just click the mouse and you see this gray bar, so just drag it up until it appears where you want. Now the most amazing way when I want to move December, don't select December in this case, select the location where you want to have December and just begin typing DEC. And amazingly, <laughs> Excel pivot tables are smart enough to say, okay, replace this value with the value that you're typing in. And again, look how it applies to all of the water years. So there are three ways that we can do it. One way is to right mouse click, come down here to move, and then choose where you want to move it. Another way is with the mouse, which requires a little bit more dexterity. Being able to, first off, make sure that you can select it so that it is that forehead of black cross and then picking it up and moving it, but most amazingly is to just type it. All right, let's come over here to another scenario. Over here we have our regions and they're arranged alphabetically. Now most people that I know want to see regions as north, south, east, and west. So again, what I want to do is let's pay attention. North is 30,619. So by typing north, there you go, it moves right up. Now again, if I wanted to move, so if I wanted to move east down, I'll just right mouse click come down here to move and say move east down. So now I have north, south, east, and west. Now let me share another tip. Over here for the columns, which are the product, I prefer to have them as software, hardware, support, and hosting. Now there's no way that we can have that ascending order, descending order alphabetically. But if we create a custom list, so let me show you how you can create a custom list in Excel. So first off, I'm going to type in the values that I want to have as part of my custom list. And I always like to use the F7 keyboard shortcut to make sure that the spelling is correct on them. Now, in Excel 2007, Excel 2010, come over here to the Office button, come down here to Excel Options, and on the Popular tab, we want to edit the custom list. So here we see those built-in lists, the days of the week, the months of the year. Since I've selected already, I see these cells down here, and I'm going to say Import them so that I can use them as a custom list. Click OK, click OK. Now, what I'll do is I'll come up here, select one of the labels, pivot table options and come over here for the sort command. In the sort command what I want to do is I want to say sort them in ascending order according to product. Now they're going to sort in ascending order but because I created that list for those products when I click OK there you go software, hardware, support, and hosting. Now this is great because this will apply if I were to move let's say the column down into the uh, row. So for example for the product if I move the product and put it down here into the row there you go I have that same sorting. If I come over here to the water year and if I want to uh, move the month from uh, the row over into a column, that sorting will stay in place October, November, December, January, February. So there you've seen several ways that you can have flexibility when you're sorting your fields in Excel's pivot tables. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.